Right guys, and in this video, as the total states, we're going to be reviewing the Proline Micro Server N4OL. Now this is a home server, that, uh, or a small server, it's a micro server I've had for uh, quite a while. Made by HP. Uh, really aesthetically pleasing. Um, it's pretty small. It's just the same size as a small hard drive case so um about the same size as a small tower really uh if i was to guess it's about 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters by about 25 high and um i've had one of these since 2015 it's been a great little purchase uh, it is the only piece of hardware I run which is actually designed to be a server. Now people who have watched my previous videos will know I did um, making a silent home server which was with a cubby board and a SATA drive and then more recently I did making an advanced virtual home server with an Intel Nook. But this piece of hardware is actually designed to be a server. The other two are, one of them, the copy board is a single board computer, which could be used for anything. And the Intel Nook is actually a PC kit. Now, I've been, like I said, I've been running this nearly three years. And when I bought it, it was around £300, which isn't out of the realm of, you know, of people buying uh just to play around with uh i don't know how much an xbox is nowadays but um you know similar price probably so when i bought it it was about 300 pound uh that was nearly three years ago uh it runs still fine i've had no issues with it it's run 24 7 uh it is quiet but uh it has about the same amount of noise as a laptop idling uh permanently uh, it has a CD drive or optical bay that I've never used. Uh, I've installed all the operating systems I've had installed on it off a USB stick. Uh, more, most importantly, unlike both the cubby board and the Intel Nook, it has four bays for hard drives. Now it takes a 3.5 SATA, and at the minute I think I've got five terabytes installed which will be six tomorrow when i put the new hard drive in it now my personal experience is it's sat on the corner of my desk uh, it has a it has about the same base uh as a small laptop really um uh, it's just been sitting in the corner it's it's worked lovely i've not really had to do anything with it and um yeah it's been a great little product for 300 pounds for, for what is essentially hardware designed to be a server. So I believe it's a dual core and mine is running 6 gig of RAM. Um, when I first got it, I ran CentOS on it uh, when I was running uh, my websites from home. Now I don't run them from home. I run them on um, external servers. I mostly use it for malware analyzation, running Zen Server. So it works really well. Um, it was originally not too badly priced. However, this was three years ago. So now it's becoming a lot cheaper. It's around £100 off eBay. I have left a link in the blog post to this. And more than likely, there'll be the link in the description in this video for it. So it's a great product. It's great for... For someone who has gone through the whole single board computer DIY server to actual physical server. It's not too big. It's perfect for a home. If you have seen a rack mounted server, it's very large. Um, most of them are over a meter deep and anywhere from three or four centimeters thick to I think I've got one that's eight centimeters thick sitting in my office doing nothing not to mention the amount of sound and the amount of power required the uh, hp um, server i have 
that's rack mounted probably use a lot more power and is definitely a lot more newsy. It's like turning on a Hoover compared to a laptop. So this is my review of it. It's been a great product. Um, I just wanted to give it a bit of no no bit of notary about it. You know, um, a bit of comment out there about it. I haven't seen many reviews about it, and it's done a great job. It's very aesthetically pleasing. The look of it is very um, very minimalist. It's got a nice mesh bottom half of the door. It does come with a key, and it has got four USB slots on the front, which is great. Um, other than that, I can't I can't say a bad word about it. It's ran lovely. Um, I did buy mine from New, and the ones I've the link I've posted in the description is from eBay, and they are second hand. But um, the link I got from the link I bought it from from Amazon no longer works. However, it is in the description if you want to check out the post because the amazon post is still there it just simply says that they're not available currently so maybe in the future they might come available again but i hope you guys enjoyed this review i thought i hope it was uh informative um i hope you get as much enjoyment out of one of these as i have so far um i'm hoping it's going to last for another few years and to be honest with you looking at the prices on ebay right now i'm tempted to buy another one um yeah, I can't say anything else. I'm tempted to buy another one. They are they are pretty cheap. So um I hope you guys enjoyed this and till next time.